Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install the virtual machine that we use for C++ development in CSC331. So to start off, you can go to the Autolab page on the CSC331 website. And if you scroll down, you'll see a link to the VM image that we use in this class. And it's the same exact one that's used in CSC220. So if we click on that, it will redirect us to Dr. Blanton's website and you can download the most recent VM image. And since it's a pretty large download, I've already gone ahead and done that. And we're going to run this using VirtualBox, which you can get from virtualbox.org. And if you click on the blue button here, you can download the installer. All right, so I'm launching the installer and all the default options are going to be okay and we will start installing VirtualBox. All right, so we have VirtualBox installed and we're ready to import our VM image by clicking on tools here and then import. And then we'll just go ahead, grab the file path to that. And then we're going to leave all these as the default settings for now, and then we're going to modify them in a moment. We'll start importing. All right, so now our VM is imported, but before we launch it, I want to edit a few settings. So under general here, if you go to advanced, you can enable clipboard sharing and drag and drop functionality by setting them to bi-directional. Under system, we should increase the RAM. I recommend around four gigabytes. I probably wouldn't do any less than three. And we can make the VM a little bit more responsive by maxing out the video memory. And now we're ready to start it up and it's going to do some installation stuff. And now we have to do some configurations before we can continue. And now we need to create our user. All right, and then Ubuntu will start installing, so this should take a few minutes. All right, now Zubuntu is done setting up and we don't have to worry about upgrading to Ubuntu 22. And we don't have to worry about that either. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and now we're really all set up and ready to go. So here you can see in this upper left hand corner, there's a drop down with a whole bunch of software already pre-installed onto this machine. So Firefox is pre-installed as a web browser and then text editor wise, there's all sorts of different flavors of Vim and there's Emacs. Um, but say there's something that's not here that you want, you can click on software here and this will open up the Snap Store where you can search for all sorts of different programs and install the Snap version of the app. So say I want a new text editor, I can look for Sublime, install that. All right, and now we'll have Sublime in the programs that we can launch here. But say, you know, maybe there's software that's not in the store or you want to install it manually, then you can open up Firefox and install programs you find on the web. So say I want to use VS Code as my, as my text editor. I can go ahead and download the .dev file from the internet. And then I can install that by going to my 
downloads folder. And then I'm going to go ahead, copy the name of the file with control shift C. And then I can install it using the Debian package manager by doing sudo dpackage dash I, and then I can do control shift V to paste in the name of the file. Then it will start installing it like that. All right, and now I should have VS code installed. And there we go. All right, so now our VM is installed and we have all the tools we need to start developing. So that'll conclude this video, but if you have any further questions, please feel free to post them on Piazza or come to office hours. Thank you.